What's going on, everybody, and welcome back. I've got a couple things of mail here to open up today. One of these is from Sticks G over at the Sticks G channel. Sticks G channel. Uh, Sticks is an awesome guy. I really owe a lot to Sticks because when I first started out on YouTube, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Not that I do by now by any means at all, but uh, Sticks was very helpful for me. He was always reaching out, showing me little tricks and stuff like that. So uh, this one here is from Stix G. I will have a link in the video description that will take you over to Stix G's channel. So a uh, big thank you for sending me this Stix. I really appreciate it. And then we also have some mail here today. I can't speak. I can't speak at all. We have some mail here today from Old Man Game. This is uh, a regular thing around here. I have a couple letters from Old Man Game there. So I'm going to open up this package from Sticks, and we shall see what this whole thing is all about here. All right, looks like we have a card. So we'll get the Christmas card out of here first. Christmas in March, nothing like it. Oh, that's a beauty right there. Uh, hello. There's a beautiful Kopitar Artifacts card out of $4.99. So may you celebrate all the gifts this holiday brings. So your brother... Sticks G, I like that. I might, huh? Excellent penmanship there. Look at that penmanship on that guy. Look at that. Sticks G should be a street artist. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's too bad. Sticks, you should make like little things so we can cut that up and put it up in the background or something. I don't know. We'll see. I might try and cut that Sticks G thing out and put it up. And now we have some more stuff in here. So this is this what I was talking about. Hashtag card crew. Spread the love. Spread the hobby giveaway. Um, so yeah, that's what it's all about. I'm supposed to put hashtag card crew in the description. So hope you enjoy the cards. Can't wait for the A&G hunt. So that was actually last week. At the time that I'm filming this video. Last week was the spinach goose. And um, oh, look at that guy. Jay Bowmeister. Um, goose and spinach hunt. That's what I was talking about. So again, big thank you for this sticks. Uh, we will see what we got in here. Looks like this is pretty loaded up and it looks like there's a pack in there or something. What do we have here today? Right on the front, we have my favorite player of all times, Mr. J. Bowmeister. I talk about this a lot on the channel. I haven't picked up any Bowmeister stuff in ages, but, uh, there's a J. Bowmeister card at a victory. There is J. Bowmeister Stars on Ice, also from Victory. We have, what? that's kind of cool. I definitely don't have that one. That's like the Topps Gold Cup. So that's really cool. Old school Topps card there of the Gold Cup rookie of J. Bowmeister. That's a really nice one. Uh, we have an SPX of J. Bowmeister. That's a beauty. What is this here? We have Pacific 2004 CFL football. We'll just open this up right now. Why not, right? Uh, I don't really know much about CFL football, but we shall see what's in here. All right, we have Calgary Stampeders. Uh, is there a name? Scott Scott Regimbald. Scott Regimbald. We have a... This is a nice-looking card. That's like a thicker one right there. Gray Expectations. Neon Green. That's a pretty cool card. BC Lions. Uh, Cutolo. Frank Cutolo. Jason Curry on the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And also uh, Hamilton Tiger Cats. Uh, I don't see the name. Gillen Radlian. Gillen Radlian. Actually, when I played football back in the day, I remember the one year I went to the uh, Hamilton Tiger Cats like summer training camp kind of thing. Uh, it was pretty intimidating, I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know much about football these days. I enjoyed playing it back in the day for a while. But, uh, yeah, so we got some cool-looking CFL cards. This one must be like a red parallel. So there we go. We got those. And it looks like we got a whole bunch more Jay Bowmeister cards here. So there's a J. Bowmeister SP Authentic. We have a shiny foily. I've never seen this one either. 
It's the old school McDonald's J Bo Meester card. That's really nice. A Fleer Ultra. These are gonna have to go into my big binder of Bo Meester cards. I have a massive binder with like tons and tons of Bo Meester cards. But the majority of these, there's actually that's a double of that one. I don't have the majority of these. I don't have that. I don't have this. I don't I don't have most of these. So big thank you for those sticks. I really appreciate it. I'm sure most people know by now, but Sticks G runs on his channel. Sticks Jeopardy, which is something that I would love to take part in one day, but my work schedule and that just they just don't line up. I'm always working every time that that's happening. It looks like an awesome thing. Like Sticks is doing a great job with that. He's essentially become Alex Trebek 2.0. And now we're going to get into these envelopes here from Old Man Game. Uh, looks like we have a glittery Christmas card on here, as is tradition. So we shall see what we got here. I just had my battle recently with Old Man Game. We both did... Oh, we got some Allen and Ginter stuff. This is beautiful. We did a battle of um, Extended Series. We each opened a retail box of Extended Series. So we shall see what we got here. It looks like a whole bunch of AG stuff. We have Jose Barrios. We have Bo Bichette. We have George Springer. We have Paul Molitor. We have Edwin Encarnacion. Teoscar Hernandez, who's now sadly gone. Marcus Semien. We have Captain Kirk and Alejandro Kirk, rookie. There's Bradley Zimmer, who is now also gone as well. Uh, and then... Yeah, we are back to the beginning there. So we've got a whole bunch of nice Blue Jays cards there from AG. Now it looks like there's some minis in here and some sort of football. This is the uh, the most football cards I've ever had on my channel at once. So what is that? Excalibur. I remember seeing this on his channel. Excalibur. What a bizarre looking set of cards that is. Some sort of medieval themed football cards. I don't know, Boomer, Boomer something. These cards feel weird. They're very, like, rigid and hard. Boomer this guy, Boomer that guy. That's what we got. Uh, we have Murray. We have Maddox. We have Maris. We have Yastrzemski, uh, Jenkins, and a Sunny Gray rookie. That's really nice. So with these guys, they all go up in the background here. Starting my big collection of uh, Allen and Ginter minis from this year. We'll see how big that gets towards the end of the year. And we have another envelope here from Old Man Game. So we'll see what we got. Of course we got glitter. I got to be careful not to touch these too much. Or else I will have sparkly thumbs for days. Looks like we got some more Blue Jays stuff. Alright, what do we have uh, and Brett Hull on the back. Brett Hull on the Flames. That's an old card. All right. We have Toronto Talent. There's Vladdy and Bo. We have Bo Bichette. Teoscar Hernandez. Alec Manoa. Jose Barrios. We have a bomb squad of Vladdy Guerrero. We have Hyunjin Ryu. There is the Blue Jay, BJ Bird. Uh, Vladdy. There's uh, Alejandro Kirk. That's not a rookie card. We have Jordan Romano. And then there is a rookie card of Brett Hall. That's a pretty sweet run right there. A McDonald's rookie of Brett Hall. And now we have this pack here. Looks like, what are these called? Those like rip cards. I forget what they're called there. But I do really like those inserts there with the three minis. So we got that card there. These are super cool. Forget what they're called. Someone have to let me know in the comments. We have a Nate Pearson rookie. We have Kevin Biggio, who's actually having an amazing spring training so far this year. Uh, it'll be interesting to see this year if banning the shift is going to have any um, uh, what's the word for it? Like if banning the shift is going to actually have any influence on on the games kind of thing like is it going to make a difference i don't know we shall see we got a vladdy guerrero there uh these are the diamond kings and there is a top stadium club jose barrios we have teoscar hernandez and then we have bo Bichette from stadium club so 
So as I said before, big thank you to Styx G for hooking me up with this as well. Big thank you to Old Man Game. I really appreciate you guys hooking me up with this kind of stuff. All right, and now you know the routine. It's time to rip into some Allen and Ginter. Day in and day out, this is my life. I come up here and we look for the spinach. I tell you, the day we find the spinach is going to be a magical day. We have Roger Clemens, a Brubaker, Gibson. We have a Joey Votto, and why is that backwards? I've never seen one of those backwards. I thought we got a shark autograph or something. And Sevier, so no spinach. But at this point, like I said, we all we all come to expect this. I don't know. Are we ever gonna find a spinach? Are we ever gonna find a goose? We have Jose Altuve, Honus Wagner, Brandon Nimmo. What's cooking? We have a cayenne pepper. We got a George Springer mini and Taylor. He's a football player. So no spinach, no goose. Again, there will be a link in the video description that will take you over to Sticks G and as well the Old Man Game channel. Thanks everybody for checking out this video today. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the polls.